In the last chapter, we looked at the theme editor and we found that we can edit a theme's files directly. Now we're going to see that we can do the same thing with plugins. While you're in the dashboard, click plugins. Then click the editor link at the bottom of that menu. The page will load into the editor, displaying the first file of the first plugin that you've got installed in alphabetical order. Again, if you're not a programmer, this won't mean much to you. This is PHP code, and unless you know what you're doing, you should never touch this as it will break the plugin and your site. The list of plugin files on the right of the screen are all text files associated with a selected plugin. We have some PHP files, a style sheet, and some JavaScript in the Akismet plugin, which is the anti spam plugin that comes with WordPress. We also have the readme.txt file, which contains the description, installation instructions, usage instructions, and change log of the plugin. These instructions are mainly outdated, but for other plugins, they may be more useful. Sometimes this readme file will give helpful information on sections of the code that one may want to change, so always reference the readme file before doing any work in the plugin's code. The readme file may contain some of the information you need, but for more comprehensive documentation about the code you're looking at, you should reference the documentation found here. This box lists all the functions in use by this particular file. If you select one and click Lookup, you're taken to the WordPress programming documentation about that function. From here, you can see what the function does, any argument it takes, and how to use it in context. It should be noted that any changes to a plugin's files will be overwritten any time you update the plugin. So if there are custom changes, make sure you back up your plugin before updating it so that you can reinstitute those changes in the updated plugin. This feature is primarily for plugin developers that are working on their own plugin. The plugin editor is a good way for a plugin developer to tweak and change and make bug fixes in a live environment. For everyone else, this plugin editor is a novelty at best. So just be aware of what its true purpose is. In our next video, we're going to look at security and performance concerns when working with plugins.